as you get to know the mind through meditation, it's like getting to know a musical instrument by playing it. It's one passage where John Lee says, to study is to know what's in the text, but when you practice, what you find is you've got defilements in your mind. In other words, you don't really know your greed, aversion, and illusion until you try to do something really disciplined with the mind. And all of a sudden you find that this, thing, this comes up, that comes up, and you've got to deal with them. Sometimes the texts give some help, and other times they don't. But in addition to the discipline, there has to be an element of enjoying what you're doing. That's why we play with the breath, so it gives a sense of well-being in the body. And you get to know the body as well in ways that you didn't know it before. And you find you've got a handle on dealing with all kinds of pains and other problems in the body, and begin, you begin to realize you also have a handle on dealing with the different things going on in the mind. So even though there's a lot of teachings in the texts, the real teachings come when you take the basic principles and you apply them in your mind, and then you see, okay, this applies that way and that applies this way, and when you push the mind in this direction, this is where it goes. When you push it in that direction, it goes someplace else. You see these things directly for yourself, and it becomes your own meditation. It's like learning a song. First you just basically learn how to play the notes of the song. But then as you work with it, you can improvise and it becomes your song. So work with the breath, work with the meditation so that it becomes your meditation. Taking care of the specific problems in your mind. That's when it shows its real benefits. <coughs>